What's up guys, it's Avery here. We're currently in a bear market. Others say we're in a recession. Other people say we're headed for a recession, but you should still be investing your money for the long term in order to build wealth, even during this economic turmoil. In today's video, I'm gonna give you 10 things that you should know about bear markets so you can feel confident about putting your money into the market and continue having it work for you, rather than just keeping it at a saving or checkings account where it's going to be hit really hard by inflation, especially at our current rates of 8.6% CPI, and it's probably a lot higher than that. That. And I know the Federal Reserve has tried to do a lot in order to increase interest rates to slow down that inflation, but it might be a few months, even years before that might take place and things will start to normalize. First off, what exactly is a bear market? A bear market, pretty simply, is when we are down 20% from a recent high. And if you look at the S&P 500, which paints a pretty good picture of the US economy because it's pretty much just a total stock market fund, it was around $4,700 at its peak and now we're down to $3,600 and it's probably even less as I'm recording this video and gonna go down and down and probably gonna keep going down a little bit further. But that is what a bear market means, that we're down 20% from our recent highs. The second thing to know about investing Investing in a bear market is stocks will go down in a bear market. I just gave you the definition for what a bear market is, and that is when we are down 20%. And on average, no shit during a bear market when stocks continue to go down, they go down on average 36%. So yes, we may not be at the very bottom, but maybe we are, who knows? This is just an average amount. Obviously during much greater recessions like the Great Depression or the 2008 housing crisis, prices of stocks went down a lot further, but this is just an average amount. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, there are bull markets. Bull markets means we are going up. So that's bull and bear. That is the opposite, and during those bull markets, we have an average of a 114% increase. So it's important to know that even if we are dropping 36%, it's most likely going to bounce back up. And again, these are just averages. These can't be things that you go based off of and say as soon as we hit down to 36%, that's the bottom, I'm gonna buy at that specific time because you can't time the market. It could go down a lot less. It could not necessarily go down any more than it already is. And it could maybe not go up as high as 114% or it could go higher. No one will ever know or be able to tell the future. And if someone is telling you that, then they're full of crap. The other thing to know about bear markets is that they're completely normal. They are normal course of economic activity. Since 1928, there have been 26 bear markets, but since 1928, there have also been 27 bull markets. So what that tells me that even though the economy gets knocked down, it always gets back up again. And if you zoom out on that S&P 500 and just take a look at how stocks have gone up over time, there are always these curves, troughs, dips, goes up and down, as you will see if you look in the short term, but but over time, it linearly goes pretty well much up. And that is good because the US economy is continuing to grow and that is what you're betting on. If you look at shorter periods, it might have a lot of volatility, but over time, it is going to go up. And no, that is not a guarantee and it's not an advice and make sure you put your money into an investment knowing all of the risks associated because you could put it in at the high and then sell at the low because you're panicked and you're freaking out and you're getting rid of all of your money, which is actually what a lot of people are doing today because they started investing in 2020 and 2021 and we had really crazy gains but have come down a lot and people are continuing to sell, which is why the market is also continuing to lose some of its power. The other thing about bear markets is they are short-lived. They are not going to be here forever. Just as we said before, there have been 26 bear markets and 27 bull markets, but those bull markets last a lot longer. The average bear market has been 289 days and again this is an average it could be longer it could be shorter but 289 days is less than a year that's not very long for stocks to continue to go on sale and go down for you to buy in at good positions on the other hand someone like yogi bear who is smarter than the average bear knows to keep his money and continue buying into the stock market because the average bull market is 991 days, which is a lot longer than that 289 days for the bear market. The fifth thing to know about bear markets is we already know they happen very often and they're a normal occurrence and how long they may last, but bear markets usually happen every 3.6 years, which means you're gonna have, again, if you look in the short term, that up and down, but the curve will continue to go up. And during that period are great times to continue to buy into the market so that you can dollar cost average over your lifetime and gain more and more money and compound interest, different types of shares in whatever companies or funds, and just get yourself into a good position in the market during those bear markets, knowing that they're going to occur every so often. Some examples that people might look to to say that it won't be every 3.6 years is since basically 2008 to 2020, if you really consider the coronavirus pandemic or recession, even though it's so short-lived, 
we had about 12 years of economic growth or 10 years of economic growth during that time period, as well as the dot-com boom, we had more than 3.6 years between that crash as well as the housing crisis of 08. The sixth thing that's interesting to know about bear markets is they've become far less frequent since 1945, since post-World War II. Pre-World War II, there were 12 bear markets, and that's between 1928 and 1945. And then since 1945 to today, there have only been 14 bear markets over a much longer period of time. The seventh point that's very important for you to think about, and if you take nothing away from this video, I hope this is the point. So slow down, watch, listen, take your notes out of your pad, put your water down, whatever it is you're doing, pay attention. Because in the last 20 years, half of the strongest days of earnings and gains for the S&P 500 were during bear markets. So if you're someone who's really scared right now, wanting to pull back, sell all of your stocks because you're freaking out that everything is going down, even though it's the exact opposite because you could think about things being on sale, then you should not be the person doing that because if you pull your money out of the market, it doesn't have the opportunity to continue having gains. But you might be thinking you bought it a really high end and it's just gonna go down and take a while for it to recover, and that's true, but you can continue buying during all of that bottom end of the stock market and then also get those gains, which is known as dollar cost averaging. An eighth and other important thing to note is that a bear market does not necessarily mean we're in a recession. Now a bear market has a pretty straightforward definition of we're dropping 20% from our recent highs, but a recession has a bit more of a broad definition that we have a slowdown in economic activity, unemployment might be up, there's a slowdown of retail sales, and a bunch of other factors that are determined by people who are smarter than me and probably not watching me on YouTube, but it's not as easy of a definition as what is considered a bear market. But nevertheless, there have been less recessions than there have been bear markets. So like I said, there have been 26 bear markets since 1929, but there have only been 15 recessions. A ninth thing to note is that downturns are completely normal. If you have a 50 year time horizon for investing, you will see roughly 14 bear markets. That means you have 14 opportunities to buy in at a much lower price than you would otherwise, as well as see some really strong gains. That is to just say that bear markets are completely normal. Downturns are completely normal. It's like if you went to the store and one week the price went down, so you might buy more of it because you know you utilize a lot of it. We all utilize a lot of money and we want our money to grow. So during a bear market, a recession, whatever you wanna call this economic period that we're currently in, it is a good time to invest so that you can have stronger and stronger earnings over your lifetime. The 10th thing that's important to think about is that overall, bear markets are actually quite positive. It's where a lot of wealth is made, wealth is transferred, and when people start making a lot of gains overall in the stock market. And that is because if you look at all of the rest of the nine points that I've talked about, 78% of the time, stock prices are going up. To me, that's a pretty safe bet if you're just continuing to buy into stock prices every single day or month or how often you get paid or whatever it might be so you can continue to dollar cost average into the stock market. So overall, these are actually really positive economic times if you are smart about your money, if you have that emergency fund set aside and can continue to buy into the market at various increments. So I wanna hear from you guys, has your investing strategy changed? Have you started buying different things or stopped buying other things? Or are you just not really sure what to do with your money? Or are you that person who might have panic sold? Go ahead and drop it in the comments below and maybe I can ease your overall stress of investing in this volatile stock market. And if you guys like this video, please go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe for more personal finance as well as real estate investing content. I would really appreciate it and I know you would too. And if you like me here, don't forget to check me out on TikTok as well as Instagram Instagram where I make similar videos but also in short form. So thanks again for watching and more wealth is coming your way.